Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and uh, today I'm here to talk about a television series that I recently completed watching on Netflix. It's a sitcom series, all eight seasons of it. And this is the second time I'm watching it. I've watched it on cable television uh, sometime in the uh, mid to late 90s till the early part of the 2000s. Uh, not really sure the exact years, but yeah, it's roughly around those years. And it's an old series. Uh, it's a sitcom. It's cheesy, it's corny, it's uh, a lot of kiddie stuff uh, which might not interest a lot of people now. Uh, but yeah, back then I think a lot of people were fans of it. I enjoyed it back then. I did enjoy it with my rewatch of the series right here just recently. And I was in fact even binge watching it because it's very relaxing. So I always look for sitcoms that I can watch uh, once I come back from home. I work from 6.30. Uh, PM to 3.30 AM in the morning, usually that's my shift and uh, uh, usually I reach home around 4 o'clock in the morning and not really sleepy at that time so I look for something to watch, usually something like a sitcom, something to make put me in a relaxing mood before I drift off to sleep and I watch my, uh, usually I watch my uh, favorite, t uh, favorite sitcoms that are like you know The Big Bang Theory, uh, Seinfeld, Connor Gas, Friends and uh, what else? Yeah, Fraser, of course. Uh, those are my favorites. And uh, so, uh, since I've already watched these many times over, except for The Big Bang Theory, I only watched it once. But I was looking for something else to watch when I saw that Full House was on Netflix. And I decided to, I just decided to watch it uh, kind of like on the spur of the moment. And I, I ended up enjoying the first few episodes. Uh, was really surprised I watched three episodes at a stretch decide to continue with it and I watched the entire thing and yeah so Full House if you don't remember uh, aired from 1987 to 19 yeah 1987 to 1995 and it starred John Stamos uh, <coughs> excuse me Bob Sagan Dave Coulier Candice Cameron uh, Jody Sweden the Olsen twins Mary, uh, Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen Laurie Rogan who joins from season 2 as a get uh, as a recurring character, then becomes part of the uh, excuse me, I need to drink some water, and becomes she becomes a part of the main cast from I think season three. Andrea Barber, who again plays a recurring character and then becomes part of the main cast from I think season five onwards. Scott we uh, Winger, he joins much later on the show, and you've got the twin boys Blake and Dylan, uh, who play twins on the show as well so Full House is that fun show but I like I said it's a very cheesy very corny a lot of focus on you know the kids getting upset about something and you get the you know, music playing but it's a lot of fun I mean <laughs> if you can remove your cynical brain for a long time like even when I'm watching it I, I do understand like yeah this is what they're this is what the episode is going to focus about as the issue for the day still if you remove that side of it from you, it's actually a lot of fun to watch. Uh, maybe not everybody might, uh, everybody currently, current people might not really enjoy it, but I did enjoy it. I enjoyed it for the first time that I watched. It was a huge hit, of course, and I enjoyed it definitely when I was watching it uh, this time. So, uh, so eight episodes, sorry, eight seasons, 192 episodes. I was checking off the uh, facts on uh, Wikipedia. So, for those of you who don't know what uh, Full House was about, <coughs> you've never seen it. If you thought it was too corny and cheesy, then wasn't interested in watching it. I think you're missing out on something. So, Full House is about a guy, Danny Tanner, played by Bob Saget, who recently uh, lost his wife to an accident. A drunk driver came and hit her, and she died in, while uh, while in the hospital. And they've got three kids, uh, two daughters, a 10-year-old named DJ, a 5-year-old named Stephanie, and a baby girl named Michelle. So she passes away and uh, her brother, Danny's uh, brother-in-law, uh, Jesse Katsopoulos, he comes and uh, he helps, offers to help, uh, help raise the kids. Uh, help Danny with raising the kids. So initially, Danny's mother is actually with them, and also Danny's best friend from college, uh, from school and college, 
Uh, Joey, who is a stand-up comedian played by Dave Coulier, he also offers to help. He doesn't have a family of his, I mean, he, he's estranged from his family mostly. So he also offers to stay in their house. So these two guys join him along with the uh, with Danny and the three girls and they decide to help raise the girls. So initially I believe uh, Jesse was only thinking about staying there for a few weeks. But he ends up staying throughout the throughout the entire uh, eight seasons, and I think, uh, in the terms of the story, much much longer after that as well. So it's about raising these three young daughters. It's a lot of fun in between. Uh, of course, uh, Rebecca Donaldson, who's uh, the character played by uh, Laurie Loughlin, who's in a lot of controversy these days. She joins up in season 2 because Danny is uh, promoted from his, I think he was a sports anchor and he was actually promoted to become the co-host of a new local breakfast television show called Wake Up San Francisco and uh, Rebecca Donaldson is from Nebraska, she moves and she's uh, chosen to become his uh, partner on the show. She and Jesse initially have a little bit of clash but of course they fall in love, uh, they start dating and they get married in, in uh, season 4. Uh, there was a, almost a marriage in, se in the end of season 2 or season 3, uh, season 3 I think. They get married in season 4 and in season 5 she gives birth to the twin sons Nikki and Alex. Those are the, the twin boys at the end. Uh, Michelle was his, she's a, one of the, of course, one of the main characters played by the also twins like I mentioned. She's a big uh, draw in the series because she's very funny. I don't think the twins have got a funny mood in them at the moment, or even as as, as far as they as like you know as soon as they grew up, I think they became very very serious. They no longer into acting anyhow, and uh, but when she was a kid, when they were kids, they were really funny. They've got all these uh, cat phrases that Michelle uses, and it's like hilarious. They're the punchline for a lot of jokes. Uh, even Stephanie Tanner, played by Jodie Sweetin, uh, who's had a lot of problems recently. Oh, sorry, not recently, but ever she's after she grew up. She's also a hoot. When she was very young, she was very, very cute. And she's uh, she, she pulls a lot of the jokes and stuff. Uh, typical middle age, oh, sorry, middle age, typical middle child uh, syndrome in a lot of things. A lot of cute stuff, a lot of funny antics. Joey also has a lot of uh, jokes in the series because he's a stand-up comedian and he's a grown-up kid. He does a lo lot of voices for cartoon characters and stuff so like you know that plays a lot into and he has a stat, uh, he has a show where he eventually he has he gets a show where he plays uh, where he has a uh, uh, he's a ventricular so he has a muppet uh, with him so there's a lot of fun uh, a lot of cute things happening uh, a lot of uh, silly things happening uh, a lot of things that would never happen in real life Issues that come up creep that uh, never happened in real life, but yeah, overall I think I did I do enjoy this uh, this series. It's a lot of fun to watch. Again, like I said, if you remove your cynical hat, you need to dis uh, suspend your belief, and I think uh, that's the reason why I was able to enjoy it. Because like I said, even I was who's already watched the show before was saying, yeah, hey, this thing, yeah, I mean, is this really? something that they could actually talk about? Is it something that they actually would have a, you know, have a major issue with? But yeah, that's kind of like how it is in sitcom world. So it's a lot of fun. So even though it's cheesy, corny, uh, way ridiculous in a lot of the aspects, I did enjoy it watching it once again. I might even watch it uh, much later for a third time. But yeah, there's a, they have a, a a, a sequel series called Full House, a spin-off series where the kids have grown, the girls have grown with the exception of Michelle. You have the uh, the other two sisters plus uh, Kimmy Gibbler who is played by Andy Barber, the annoying neighbor. But she is quite funny. She is quite funny as a kid. I think after she grew up, uh, not so much. <coughs> so I will talk about that. I have actually started watching Full House, that's the spin-off series. I will talk about that a little later and another in another video but uh, yeah for Full House I think I would give it a two thumbs up dude uh, and I cut it up so yeah 
uh, it was fun to watch it, uh, kind of nostalgic, it reminded me a lot of the 80s or the 90s and you know that kind of thing. So a lot of music playing in, uh, a lot of fun stuff, a lot of fun clothes. So yeah, that's my uh, look back at Full House. Uh, for those of you who like the show, I hope you like my little look back at it. Uh, for those of you who don't like it, eh, okay, you do. Anyway, take care guys. Good night.